It's week 33 of Xur, and I'm going to let you guys know my recommendations for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you enjoy learning all things about Destiny, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So, Xur is located on Earth by the Winding Cove, so we're gonna mark him and find out what he has this week. Xur, what's up dude? So, like always, we're going to start with the left-hand side. We have the Young Ahamkara Spine for the Hunter class. This comes with one mobility, one resilience, and one recovery. In terms of perk on this is Wish Dragon Teeth, which increases trip mine grenade duration and marks enemies damaged by the blast. Then we have Mobility Enhancement Mod, but still Reinforcement Mod, as well as Energy Counterbalance Mod. Now, this is an okay exotic to have in Destiny 2. It was a lot better in the original Destiny, because Young Ahamkara's Spine in the original Destiny gave you a second Trip Mine Grenade charge, which, which in turn would give you two Trip Mine Grenades. But uh, this is a decent exotic, like I said. I probably am going to rate this maybe a tier 2.5 in PvP, but definitely a tier, I want to say 3 to maybe even a 3.5 in PvE. Because there are better exotics out there than this. I really wish that Bungie didn't change how this actually worked. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Mask of the Quiet one for the Titan. This comes with one mobility and recovery as well as two resilience. Intrinsic perk on this is Dreaded Visage, which grants melee, grenade, and class ability energy when damaged. Void ability kills grant health regeneration. Next we have Mobility Enhancement Mod. Restorative mod as well as impact absorption mod. Now this is definitely a good exotic for the Titan class and it definitely pairs well with your Captain America subclass. And if you guys don't have this, I definitely would, definitely would go ahead and grab this because it makes that Captain America subclass pretty good. Uh, PvP, I probably would rate this a tier 2 as well as a tier 2 probably in PvE, if not even a tier 1.5. So definitely go ahead and grab this. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Wings of Sacred Dawn for the Warlock. This comes with three mobility and one recovery. Intrinsic perk on this is Tome of Dawn, which when Dawn Blade is equipped, aiming weapons while in midair suspend you there for a short time. Precision hits extend this duration. Uh, this effects duration. Sorry. Uh, then we have mobility enhancement mod, restorative mod, and power bracket mod. Now, as I have said many times. For Destiny 2, being in the air is not something you want to do at all because team shooting is huge and ads will melt you like it's nothing while you're in the air. So I'm going to give this a tier 4 in PvE and PvP. It's just really not that good being in the air. And this is probably one of the exotics that really need a rework, um, if anything. But yeah, that's pretty much how I feel about this thing. The weapon of the week is the Telesto, which is a void fusion rifle. In terms of perk on this is unplanned uh, reprieve, which fusion projectiles attach and detonate with delayed void blast. Then we have uh, projection fuse, harbinger's pulse, which multi-kills with this weapon immediately reload your equipped kinetic and energy weapons from reserves. And then we have Polymer Grip. And last but not least, just like all exotic weapons, we have your plus 5 weapon attack mod. If you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it. It's definitely a good exotic to use in PvE as well as PvP. And I definitely would highly recommend that you guys get this. I probably would consider this a tier uh, 1.5 to even a tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. Next, we have your consumables. We have your three of coins. Uh, you pop one of these, you have a chance to get an exotic for four hours. And last but not least, we have your Faded Engram for 97 Legendary Shards. If you don't have one of these, go ahead and grab one of these first before trying to get a Faded Engram. Because if you do not have one of these, then it will give you one of these for the Faded Engram. It possibly will give you one of those for the Faded Engram for 97 Legendary Shards, which is obviously a waste. 
And if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.